Hello and welcome. My name is Kathy A. And yes, I actually have received my Wayne Goss Foundation. And um, I'm quite excited about this because I really was bucking for him, you know, when he announced that he was going to release his foundation. Of course, I, you know, got my little beauty lish order in and because I'm in Connecticut it took of course like a week to get to me and uh, when I received it I realized that um, I, I got the wrong shade and I think a lot of people probably did what I did you looked at the shades online um, that are near your skin tone and mine were of course um, shade 9 and 10 kind of I, I thought 10 was closer to me than 9 was. 9 looked like it was a medium shade. And, um, you know, I thought it was kind of interesting. He had put this out. And I don't know if you remember the debacle he had with his bronzers, but he had not made a dark enough shade bronzer for people with deeper skin tones. And I think that he has now numbered all of his foundations with the deepest tones as number one and two and three, and the lightest tones as number 10, 11, and 12. And I think he did that kind of like to put the deeper tones first, and it was maybe a nod to deeper tone folks that, hey, you know what, you should be number one, you know, <laughs> instead of just always the light shades. But because of that it's throwing everybody off as to what shade they should be and um, it caused a little more commotion for me anyway I wasn't sure what I was doing but I ordered shade 10 it looked like a medium light shade and um, that's pretty much who I am when I got it um, of course always beautifully packaged by Beautylish and I haven't ordered anything from them since the sucky bag you know the lucky bag <laughs> I have not ordered anything from Beautylish I was kind of like I don't know. This is a cream foundation. It's kind of a very hard pan and it has the same feeling of maybe moving your hand over a stick of butter kind of a feeling. It's extremely thin and um, the formulation, if you use your finger to uh, pat it in, it's quite creamy. Um, it's quite sheer. And it reminds me a lot of the e.l.f. Putty Primer, which, you know, similar idea, completely similar idea. And, you know, the Putty Primer, of course, is not uh, pigmented for skin like concealer, but it's got that same kind of a feel to it. There is a scent to it as well. It's very light, uh, but it is a scent. So I decided to try it. I've tried it now for two days and I tried it doing it with his powder first and then putting the foundation over the powder. I tried it with the, the damp sponge. I tried it with my fingers. I tried it without the primer and with the primer. I powdered it each time and I used this banana powder because it's slightly darker and I thought that by using the powder with a powder puff I could um, kind of set it a little better. Now I'm coming on here from work. I wore it at work all day. It broke down terribly. It just broke down terribly and I was just repairing it before I came on camera here. But it's extremely, um, it's just so thin. There's not the coverage. And I don't know, uh, you know, I think it really fell into the lines. It was very disappointing and I didn't want to say I didn't like it. I really want to support him. I like Wayne Goss. I think he's really cool. I'm wearing his lipstick right now. Um, and he's one of the first guys on YouTube I ever watched. And I remember being really shocked that this man was putting makeup on himself. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, and I've been watching him ever since. And he, you know, he's, he's given me some really good tips and tricks. And I really wanted to like the Luxury Cream Foundation, but it's very sheer, there's not the coverage. After about two hours, I went to the restroom at work just to check it out. It was completely broken down on my skin. Um, if you press it in with your fingers, it does work nicely. I did use it as a concealer as well, uh, which is what he recommends. And since it's a lighter shade, 
I think that's a great idea to use it up. You know, I'm going to use it as a concealer. Initially, it did not go into the lines. Um, I was kind of pleased with that, you know, that it, uh, it didn't go into the lines. I set it with a little bit of powder. When I used it as an all-over foundation, I mean, it did not cover age spots. It didn't cover blemishes. It didn't cover discolorations that I have, broken capillaries. It did when I pushed my finger on. When I used a brush, I got the best coverage, but it was masky looking because it was a lighter color. But I can't fault him on the lighter color thing. I can only fault him on the fact that there's such a big difference between 10 and 9. I'm going to show you that right here. So this is how uh, the shade 10 compares to some of the other foundations in my collection. I'll just show you some pictures of what it looks like. And you can see how much lighter. It's like a shade and a half lighter than all my other foundations. So what I had to do really was kind of amp up the bronzers, amp up the blush, amp up, you know, a little bit of everything else so that it kind of blended it out a little better. And I did do a makeup demo where I used this and it was so light. Um, but I'm going to do a mini review on some of the other items that I used and I thought that, you know, maybe you would find it kind of fun as like a combination of uh, a little tuner car out there. Oh my goodness. Um, it's a combination, quick reviews, and also the Wayne Goss thing, because I know you were curious about it. Can I recommend it? Not really. I, I think it's too sheer. It breaks down too easily. I have kind of dry skin. It did kind of grab onto the dry patches. Um, it fell into the lines. It broke down after two hours, which is not very good. Um, it didn't work. It wasn't bad as a concealer, though, as an under eye concealer. Um, the, the the swing between 10 and 9 is a little bit extreme. I really thought 9 was a medium shade and I feel like I was duped, you know. <laughs> so um, I see that all of those shades in that particular area are sold out. I bought it the second it launched. I mean, I was right there ready for it the second it launched. So that's how I happened to get mine. And then it took them like a week and a half to send it to me and I'm seeing other people are getting it and I was trying not to watch other people's reviews because I wanted to be totally objective and um, so Wayne Gloss the um, luxury cream foundation I have to give it maybe a C a C um, for primer what I found the best combination with that particular foundation was this new NYX primer this is the plump right back and this is the newest primer from NYX. This has a laundry list. Um, what do they call it? The ingredient stack. <laughs> the laundry list of skincare ingredients made in Korea. It is a plumping serum primer. It has electrolytes in it. So it has <laughs> plump right back. It's got a little electrical jaggy thing, you know, like electrical bolt <laughs> in there. This is expensive though. I was like, are you kidding me? It was in um, Ulta had it and it was like $19 or something. I'm like, really? This is NYX. NYX. Oh my God. You know, I thought it was going to be like five or six dollars. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? Is this part of the COVID thing with the groceries and everything costing too much? I don't know. But this was a lovely primer. It reminds me a little bit of Laura Mercier's um, primer base where it's all tacky when you put it on it's tacky so it really adheres to your foundation and I think it really makes things set up pretty well and, and last pretty long however um, it didn't seem to help this that much NYX primer I do like the plump right back and uh, that's in my demo you'll see me having that in the demo now as far as my hair goes some of you have commented that my hair is kind of improved in quality and I have to say um, it's a combination of things uh, one is I have I switch up my shampoo every now and then and this one is the Pantene 
fortifying. This is the damage repair with castor oil sulfate free shampoo. And I think this one has bamboo or something in it. It's got, it's got something in it that's good. It smells nice. It's um, It doesn't suds up a lot. It is really a nice shampoo. Um, and of course, I took your advice. You guys are, are wonderful. And I did get the K18 from Sephora. And this is an amazing, after one use of this hair moisturizer, you put three pumps, one, two, three, in your hand, makes a little blob, maybe a dime-sized blob, and you run it through your hair. You wait at least four minutes for it to really settle in, and then you style your hair as normal. Um, absolutely amazing. You don't rinse it out, and your hair just looks and feels like you're 20 years old. It's just, I mean, I I don't even know how to describe it, but I can tell you my hair has improved tenfold since I started, you know, paying more attention to it and using things. Um, I'm using Olaplex every now and then, and I use this twice a week now, uh, the K18. And this is a little, like a travel size, it's a great way to try something like this so you can... Um, you know, see what we're all talking about, what all the fuss is about. Now, I did get my order from BK Beauty, and um, they do now sell the Angie Hot and Flashy concealer brush uh, separately. And I did use this actually with the Wayne Goss um, to apply the Wayne Goss foundation as a concealer, and also to apply the powder to set it. Uh, I did use this concealer brush. Now I had bought like two kind of wannabes. <laughs> this one is from Rare Beauty. I got this in the Sephora sale and this is very similar. You can see they're slightly different. Similar idea. The, um, they're kind of thick bristles. This is softer and a slightly wider. And then this one is from Amazon. This is uh, a little stiffer and a little shorter. So none of the dupes, I guess you would call them, are exactly like the Angie Hot and Flashy brush, um, but they do a similar thing. They do respond with the concealer the similar way. So if you want to save money, um, I guess you can get, like the Rare Beauty I think is around $16 and the, the one on Amazon is around $8. So. Um, you can get a similar effect with these, but um, again, I love to support Lisa J, and also I love to support Angie. I also, when I got that, I wound up getting the 106 foundation brush, and this is how I applied the um, foundation. And I have a video following this little mini review here of me using the um, 106 foundation brush, and this worked the best as far as applying the Wayne Goss makeup. I thought it was really um, effective. It's a really nice brush where you you don't get the streak marks. Um, it distributes it really well and it's thick enough that it doesn't get lost in the brush. You know, it doesn't absorb all of the products. So I think that this was a, a terrific one. The 106 from BK Beauty and also the Angie Hunt and Flashy concealer brush, the A506, I believe it's called. And I'll link these two below as well um, if you want to save a little bit of money. But, you know, it's not always about saving money. Quality is important. And I have washed both of these brushes at least three times. They maintain their shape. They don't shed. Uh, they feel good. They're nice weight in the hand. And they just work so nicely to distribute product well. And I'm actually buying less but buying better quality now and I think that's kind of a trend that's going on but I think that you'd be very happy if you did buy the BK ones in right now I think she's having her Mother's Day sale so you can get I think 20 or 25 percent off if you use that code mom 22 so if you go on her site I think if you use mom 22 you can get 25 percent off of her stuff and she's got some beautiful lipsticks as well now this was something I discovered um, when I was at Sephora returning stuff. <laughs> you know, I'm always returning things to Sephora. And this was on kind of like the impulse end cap. 
Um, this is the Sephora Favorites Vacay uh, All Day set of products. And it is an amazing assortment of things. Now you get a little mesh bag that has all of these things in it, but it has, um, most importantly, the Paradise Drops. And if you haven't heard about these, the Paradise Drops, um, there's just like a little eyedropper in here and you just put, they're kind of slimy drops, but you just put like maybe three drops. You put a little blob of moisturizer or face moisturizer in your hand and then you put like three drops and then you mix it in and you rub it all into your decollete, your neck, your face, um, up to your shoulders. You can also use it with your body creams and it's a tanning uh, mechanism. This is the medium, the, the bluish green color. They do have a light one and they have a deep one as well. Now if you get this on its own, it's like $32 for a slightly bigger size than this. This works like after the first time I used it, I was like, oh, you know, you look like you have been out in the sun. It's not streaky. Um, and just to try, this was worth the price. Now this was $44 for a set of all of these things that I'm gonna talk about, but just being able to try this alone was so worth getting this because you get all these other things which are very useful also. And I'll just go into all of those the Super Goop. Everybody talks about Super Goop being the sunscreen um, of choice because once you put this on your skin, it absorbs nicely and it plays well with makeup. A lot of times when you put a sunscreen on your face and then you put like makeup on, it balls up or it, it acts funny or it sits funny on the skin. But this Super Goop one is really good and a, a lot of people love this and you hear you get a nice sample of it. So you've got the Paradise Drops and this. These are two major players here and you still haven't even dug into this little set. The next thing is this beautiful moisturizer. This, this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. And basically after you wash your face, this is kind of like a nice serum. I hate to waste it. Oh, I hate to waste it. Beautiful, nice, feels like a drink of water on your skin. Absorbs quickly. It's a beautiful serum. There is a very light essence of like if you're walking in the fruit section of the grocery store and you happen to go by the watermelons, you may get a waft of watermelon and that's what this has. It's not a strong artificial kind of scent, it's very subtle and it disappears almost as soon as you put it on your face. You get a little bit of watermelon and then it's gone. So <laughs> I like this as well. And um, the niacinamide of course is really good for brightening uh, your skin. It makes a really nice facial treatment. So we're still working on this. Um, this is the Milk um, Hydro uh, Eye Primer, which, you know, as you know, a lot of people like to use this um, because it grips, the Hydro Grip Primer, because it grips and holds things in place. So you get that as well. It's a very popular item. This is just an amazing collection. Somebody really thought it through. This one impressed me because I think it's full size. This is the Caffeine Eye Cream. Now this is the Inky List and this is the Caffeine Eye Cream. And I mean really, just a little under here and if you do the tappy thing, you know a lot of people do that because it helps drain the, the uh, liquid that pools there while you're sleeping. That's like way too much information for me. I'm not a scientist but I know that this helps depuff your eyes and I really like been using this. This came in this little set and then we're still not done. This is called Summer Fridays. This has a Boom Boom Cream kind of um, smell to it. It's a beautiful body moisturizer and what I did was I put the Paradise Drops in this and tried it on my arms and my shoulders and it made a beautiful light not too overly tan um, and it is a coconut smelling kind of thing. It does smell like coconut. Um, but this is Summer Fridays and it's a nice size tube I think for um, a body uh, moisturizer. 
for hair, they have the Moroccan oil. This is a leave-in volume treatment. Um, it's a, a smoothing and volume treatment. Um, Moroccan oil, a lot of people don't like the scent with it. It has argan oil in it and it's just got that scent to it. Um, I like this. It's a hydrating hair leave-in treatment. So I kind of um, alter the Olaplex and, and the uh, K18 and this I will use once in a while too when I'm blow drying my hair. It's really nice to have this. It's a nice protectant and it, it smooths out your hair. And I'm telling you, I have, I'm 64. I hate to have to keep saying that, but I'm 64 and so my hair is thin and it's um, kind of coarse looking and it's a little bit, it has a little bit of curl to it. So I actually straighten it to kind of um, give it a healthier look. And that Moroccan oil really helps a lot. Now the next thing is actually a makeup item. This is the Tower 28. It's a lip gel in the, um, the name of the lip gel is coconut, but it's actually a pretty kind of a pinky color. It's a beautiful tinted lip balm kind of thing. Not really any flavor or essence to it, so the coconut is sort of misleading. I don't know why they even called it that, because coconuts aren't this color. But that's the Tower 28 that came in this set as well. Um, the mascara that came in the set is a full-size Surfer Curl from Tarte. Um, you know, it's not a bad. It's a kind of a regular kind of mascara. It's nothing special about it, but it is a full-size and. It didn't leave dings uh, on my upper lids, so I thought that was kind of nice. This isn't my favorite mascara at Sephora, but it's a nice full size and it came in that set. The very last thing in that set is something I actually didn't really care for. And it's from Ilia and it is their facial setting spray. It has a terrible smell to it. And I, I just, first time I sprayed it, I was like, oh, oh, God, oh. So, um, that's the only disappointing thing. So this whole little set of, of stuff for $44, I think is probably the best deal at Sephora right now um, because you get all of these, these wonderful items. And I'm just really pleased that I purchased that because it's just great. Um, for my feet in the shower, this is the Healthy Feet from O'Keeffe's. And um, I just started using this. I saw another YouTuber talking about it and they said it's the only thing they use. It might have been Sabrina or somebody. Um, I love this. It's really nice. You know, now that we're wearing backless shoes and sandals and things like that, we have to kind of be aware that we have gnarly looking feet. And this really smooths out the roughness on your feet. And I also use it on my elbows too. Um, so I think this is a wonderful thing. This is just the Healthy Feet uh, Foot Cream. They have different variants of this, but I think just the original like this is just fine. I think you can get it real cheap on Amazon. So Sephora does something kind of neat now. Um, I know that many of you have purchased those little sample packs that they have. They're like uh, fragrance samples and they give you like 10 different fragrances to sample and then they give you a card and you can get a full size of any of those fragrances for free um, and you pay I don't know forty dollars or whatever but you get a a full size or you get a rollerball size free after you tried all the fragrances well they have something new on Sephora I'm quite excited about it it is, a, it is a foundation sampler and they give you like 10 to 12 different uh, foundations to try and you can pick the set that's closest to the color uh, area that you wear and so they'll send you samples only in those kind of shades that will be in your zone and I picked series F which was a mistake. It's a little bit dark. It goes more towards the medium and I had a hard time um, deciding what to do but what they do with these is they give you all these samples and then they give you a card for ten dollars off any of the full size of those foundations and I think that's a wonderful thing. If you can't get to a Sephora to try the foundations and if maybe they're not offering those um, 
samples as free samples or perks or anything. This is a wonderful idea. You get $10 off a of full size. I was really pleased with the Fenty that I tried. Um, I tried the Laura Mercier. I'm going to show you the ones that I got in um, bag number F. They do have, I think, six different bags with different color uh, areas or zones. I would have gone just slightly lighter, I think, if I could have, if I had it to do over. So what I might do is get the Fenty um, full size and I'll get $10 off of it. And that's what this costs, $10. So it's like you got to try all those samples for free and then you get $10 off your full size. So I think that's a wonderful deal and that's on the Sephora site right now. This is on Amazon right now. This is Physicians Formula Butter Dream Team Face Palette and mine was dropped. Um, <laughs> it has some of the most extraordinary facial things. I'm so pleased <laughs> with this. Now this is that powder everybody talks about uh, that um, you know is really good for setting under the eyes. Mine broke um, and my also my gold uh, highlighter broke. This is in shipment to me. An Amazon person threw it in the mail room. I'm sure they threw it underhand. <laughs> there's a couple of, um, there's kind of a, a shimmer um, bronzer and then a matte bronzer. You have kind of a deeper blush and you have a lighter blush. Uh, this is really nice because it's variegated here, so you can go more towards a deeper tone pink or a lighter tone pink. This gold highlighter is just outstanding. It's beautiful, and the powder is beautiful as well. I think this was like $13 or something. It's on Amazon right now, so I'll link it below. Um, I'm exchanging mine for another one because mine's broken. So, but I like it, it's really nice. And it's Physicians Formula, it's their butter formula. There is a slight scent of, I don't know, bread with a little butter on it. I don't know what this scent is supposed to be and I don't know why, since they are Physicians Formula, why they feel the need to put any scent in their stuff because I think it'd be far more popular with folks if they didn't have any scent at all. Um, in my video, I'm so embarrassed. In my video that's following my little reviews here, I do a full demo from start to finish of my makeup. And I use, this is the um, Makeup Revolution. This is the Fast Base Concealer in the shade C14, Cool 14. And what it is, is it's um, somebody, I don't know, somebody said it was like the same thing as Charlotte Tilbury's Contour Wand. No, it is not. And the reason it's not is that it, it is a different formulation for one thing, but it sets up so quickly and it does not blend very well. It's not really meant to be a contour. It's meant to be a concealer for deeper skin. And I just, I just messed it up so I could not get it to blend out nicely on my cheek and so I just let it go and put the blush over the top and I look like I just learned how to put makeup on today. I mean, I really, I really mess up. So I'm apologizing in advance for the demo that's going to show me with these stocky, streaky lines going, oh, is this nice, you know, but I like the blush, you know, the blush was great, but this, the whole concept of the contour wand with Charlotte Tilbury is that she has, it blends nicely and it's a beautiful liquid contour. This is not meant to be a contour and it is not. Even though it is like half the price, don't do it. Just don't do it. You know, and I, I talked about this before, but I'll just bring it up again. And I didn't have, I've been waiting for it to come back in stock. Now this blush is breaking my heart because I love it. This is the Pat McGrath um, Labs, and this is the blush in Bleu, like flower, <laughs> flirtatious. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Oh my God, look at this. Can you see this? It's got this beautiful imprint of roses. It's just a 
beautiful, lovely. It looks pretty on. And, you know, again, I put it on over the top of this god-awful contour stick, and I could not um, make it look nice because, because it was over the top of this uneven and unblended contour. It, you couldn't really tell how beautiful it was. Now, it doesn't have a whole lot of lasting power, and um, it's, it's a nice shade for if you are a medium to a light-skinned person, you're going to love this shade. But it's $52. $52. It's breaking my heart. It really is. You know, I would love to support Pat McGrath more. Um, you know, it's a woman owned brand. Um, it's a black uh, woman owned brand. And I, I, you know, I'm first in line to want to support this. But when the price points are just so outrageous Tom Ford same thing you know it's like why why do you have to do that $52 for a blush and I can go into Ulta and buy essence blush that has beautiful staying power as well for like four dollars so what is the huge difference here unless you know Spencer is gonna put it on me you know I really don't think it's worth $52 I just can't justify that price point and um, Flirtatious is the color I'm wearing now. It is a beautiful shade, but I mean, I have other shades that are beautiful too for a quarter of this price. I mean, a quarter of this price, even less than that. <laughs> so I'm not sure about the future of this in my collection. Battle of the Mascaras. All right. Um, I didn't realize that Sky High has a whole series of mascaras in different colors. They have like a dark maroon, I think they have a dark blue, they have the brown, um, and then they have this, what I thought was black, and then they have cosmic black. And I thought, oh, cosmic black, what does that have? You know, maybe it's waterproof, maybe it's got extra zing to it or whatever. And the only thing I saw different in the cosmic black to the regular black Sky High Mascara from Maybelline is that it's slightly a deeper shade, just slightly a deeper shade. And not enough to justify why did they do this? Why did they make it? Oh, I don't know. Um, so if you want a really nice black lash, you can go with the cosmic. If you just want a nice, lash that looks a little more natural but it's nice you can make a nice big honking lash with it it's just not stark black it, it, it it's so subtle it really is and i mean if i had one color on one eye and one on the other it would take you a little while to figure out which one uh was which really it's so close i just don't know why why Maybelline you felt the need to do this so it was just I wasted money and I think these are much less expensive than this which I've tried before and I know I didn't like it and then several people have popped up on YouTube saying how much they love this and how much it's like a high end and it's better than and it's all this and I did put in the video I put this on one side and this is a two-tone, it's called Double Extend and it's basically two-part mascara. One part is the white primer and it is a liquid-based uh, eyelash primer which is fine. I don't like the fluffy, feathery kind. This is not fluffy and feathery, it's a nice liquid. And the other side is a black mascara. Um, the brush is okay, you know. Uh, it went on all right. When it dries down, it feels kind of rough, and I, I don't know how to describe it any other way, but I don't like it at all. I didn't like it the first time I tried, and I don't like it at all. It did transfer, too, a little bit. I had it on this side. It transferred a little bit. I had to redo my makeup when I came home because between the Goss makeup breakdown and the mascara problem, um, and I wanted to fix the contour because I was so embarrassed. Uh, this just was a fail. So uh, in my video, I did use um, this on one side and I used this on the other side. So um, you'll see that there's really no difference in the two sides. And this is a, a lot of trouble. You do the white and then you do the black and then you, 
you know, this one you just put a couple of coats of the black on. So yeah, double extend. I, I just didn't think it was worth it. And it transferred. If it transfers, it's a big no. And I found it a little bit difficult to remove it. Hindash. I had used the Hindash um, eye color uh, a couple of times and then I went to sharpen it. And it's so soft, it kept falling apart and <laughs> falling apart. And I'm down to this now. I've only used Hindash's pencil like four times and I've had to keep like sharpening it because it, it keeps getting down to the wood. It is so soft. You really have to leave it in the refrigerator to stay hard enough. I don't know how many of you bought the Hindash uh, eyeliner <sighs> intro, I think it's called. Yeah, it's just too soft. And it's a beautiful liner on and it dries nicely, but it's so soft It's and you have to sharpen it. It absolutely and I tried different sharpeners. I thought maybe I'm using a sharpener that the blade is kind of dull or something and I tried all three of my sharpeners and it did the same thing to all three. So I did write to customer service about it, offered to send it back to them because um, it's, I said, did I get a defective one? I'm not sure, you know, I love Hindash and you know, um, what happened? And they wound up just refunding me for it. And I thought, well, that's not really resolving the problem that's nice that they're refunding my money, but that's not resolving the problem of this. So um, I can't recommend it to you. And I love Hindash, you know I do. I, I have the palette. I have, I have the, you know. Um, this is a Joa Crystal Glow Setting Spray. I did like this very much. I had gotten their uh, foundation, primer, primation, whatever they call it, it's a primer foundation hybrid yeah got a nice sprayer little bit of a scent it's a perfume that I have smelled before but that's the scent of this very very pleasant um, it does make your skin look very moist and dewy um, very very nice sprayer on this so the Joa crystal glow setting spray really really nice this was a fail from NYX boy NYX pissed me off with this one this is the um, this is the uh, Born to Hustle lip pen, and it's one that you turn up. And I told you I started to ruin it because I sharpened. I tried to sharpen it and, it, and it turns up from the bottom. There's only like maybe a half an inch of product in here. I was like, are you kidding me? Because it's a great color and it was a nice liner. And I think I reported on it last month. Said how much I liked it. Well, I turned it up because I had used it three or four times and it would not come up anymore. It was like gone. And I'm like, really? <laughs> really? So NYX, this is the uh, lip liner in uh, Born to Hustle, one of the new ones. Nice, nice lip liner, nice formula, nice color. But uh, I need more than a half an inch okay because these things cost what are they like six dollars or something now or seven dollars uh, for perfume I did get sent this with my um, order this is a Gucci floral and this one is the peonies chrys chrysanthemums flower and patchouli this is a beautiful scent oh my goodness absolutely beautiful of course I can't wear flower scents anymore uh, to work. I was told that I'm the girl with too much perfume on at work, so I can't wear perfume to work anymore. <laughs> um, this is the Gucci, um, the florals, but the one with the peonies and the uh, patchouli, absolutely, uh, got to be one of my favorite new scents of the year. Absolutely beautiful. And I usually don't gravitate towards the Gucci scents because to me they're kind of you know shopping mallish <laughs> I think yes sir that is everything
See what I mean about the contour? Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. But just know that I know that. I know I messed up with that contour. <laughs> oh. So we all have our good and bad days. You know, we're not always putting on a perfect face here. You know, every single day I try some little thing new and um, I don't know why I felt compelled to use that kind of a contour, but I messed up. Won't ever do that again for sure. Hey, I hope all of you have a wonderful week and have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.